It's homecoming weekend at UNO, which traditionally means the homecoming king and queen crowned at tonight's hockey game. But this year, things are changing. The king and queen dethroned, seemingly by popular demand. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. However, there will still be homecoming royalty announced tonight. Reporter Emily Zink is live with what's behind this change. Emily? Well, guys, the university tells me they're always looking for new ways to promote inclusion on campus, and this change helps their mission. Behind a stack of Maverick sweatshirts hangs a shirt that exemplifies inclusion at the university. We have a wide variety of students from different backgrounds and identify um, with all types of different things. UNO you know, Director for Student Involvement Bill Pickett says the university began making changes a few years ago after receiving some unfavorable reviews when it came to being considered an LGBT friendly campus. Like that, so I feel like it does a great job of including everybody and trying to make sure everybody is included. Students say they've noticed the positive changes around campus, like the addition of gender inclusive housing. Recently, the school made another change. When students signed up to be a royalty candidate, that's all they did. Homecoming is no longer about crowning a king and queen. That's the homecoming royal one. Gender roles have been eliminated. The 10 nominees are now referred to as royals. So I didn't know going into the process that they had made the change, but I think um, it's been a pretty exciting and a pretty positive one. Royalty nominee Nick Rishal and his nine competitors welcome the change. Students, you know, in general appreciate that we're making changes that accommodate them without trying to force anything on anyone. But not everyone is enthused. But it's tradition can't be changing on like that. Just UNO sophomore Pami El Haj says he would rather see someone crowned king and queen than awarded royalty. Either way, you're going to offend somebody. Since the university isn't rooted in tradition and has morphed so much over the past decade, Pickett says it was an easy change to make, and so far it has been pretty well received. Um, so the MAV spirit and students really feeling a part of the campus has really um, kind of elevated this year, which is exciting. More universities are making this homecoming change. For the first time this fall, UNNK called their homecoming court royalty, and the University of Iowa did the same. Live in the studio, Emily Zink, KMTB Action 3 News.